Hey guys, Phantomato back again today. And today I'm back with another unturned update. And we are back on the Liberator, just like last week. It is filled to the brim with more NPCs, as well as there are two new items that you can get through the quests aboard the Liberator. So, without further ado, let me take you on a little tour of the Liberator. So to start things off, let's head over to these little refugee tents aboard the top here. I have already kind of looked through this. Over here, we have Norbert. I'm very happy to be aboard. Glad to hear it. You'll notice that a lot of these filler NPCs have the same dialogue and you also have the same response. I don't know whether that'll be changed in the future or not. This is Peter. I'm very happy to be aboard. Glad to hear it. There's him over there. There's this guy behind here. There, Here's a guard. You can talk to everybody now. And as well, along with all these filler people, like these guys and uh, a lot of other people, <laughs> there were new missions added to existing characters as well as new characters added, such as Dr. Swanson and uh, him over there. I'll get to him in a sec. But right off the bat, let's start off with Rusty's new mission, as I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody is going to do Rusty, since Rusty is an amazing person in this uh, ship. So, need any help? I already did the other one, like I did last week, so I don't need to do that one anymore. Nautical nuisance. Barnacles are starting to form on the Liberator's hull, but Rusty j Rusty's joints are acting up too much to dive down and scrape them off. He'd appreciate it if you can help him out because given time, they can cause quite a bit of trouble. So your goals are clean up z uh, nine barnacles, and your rewards are 50 experience and five reputation. I'm going to accept that. Hope you're a good swimmer. The ship will be spick and span in no time. And then he just says hi, see you around. So let's uh let's hop off the ship and go clean those barnacles. So there's one right here. Clean. Here's another one, clean, here's another one, right here. And now I can go head over to Rusty, all the way through this, keep going, there's so many people, it feels so much more alive, and I can talk to him, whoa, that's a, that's a, li that's a little close there, sorry there Rusty. But then I can go up and talk to him, and there's see around of course, but then I scraped off those barnacles, and then it'll go through this, continue, thank you, I'll take your word for it, now go dry off. And then Haya, and that is it for Rusty so far. He might get another one in the next NPC update, but who knows. To go along with all the NPC missions you can find on the Liberator, there were two new custom weapons that you can only get by doing the NPC missions added to the game this week, and that is the Quad Barrel, which is two, not three, which is basically a... Uh, like a... Quad it's a quad barrel shotgun that can fit into your secondary slot and has eight freaking shots into it. And it's really low range, by the way. Like, it didn't even hit the tree here. You have to be really close to it. Pretty neat. And the second item added was this bayonet. Now, it is an attachment onto weapons in your tactical slot. And by adding this in... Basically, you're extremely overpowered. You can run up to anyone, have your weapon out and shoot them, and then as well, be able to just freaking stab them in the face. Like this, by pressing B. It's though in an awkward position, you can change the keys and then be extremely overpowered. So shoot. You can shoot these guys, and melee these ones. Which is... Pretty freaking awesome. Oh my god, a Coca-Cola! Hey, that's pretty good. There were some ways that aggressors and attackers are deciphered during PvP combat, but I don't really understand how all that works. And I'm not going to go into it because if I don't understand it, I won't explain it very well, so that's a bad idea. But that is it. It's all done for this week. And there will be no update next week, may I mention. Nelson tweeted that out. 
today, stating that he is going to be at some Steam developers convention or something like that. So there will be no kind of form of update or updates on updates or anything like that. So just don't be worried when that happens next Friday. But as always, if you guys want to read the full update post, it'll be linked down below. And if you liked this video, like it. And if you disliked it, tell me why in the comments down below. And if you really liked it, then why not hit that subscribe button for more unturned content in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always... Stay saucy, guys.